Would Sandra O oh ever come back to Grey's? Why did Ellen Pompeo almost leave the show? Why did Justin Chambers check himself into a medical center? Hi, my name is Dylan, and you're watching Asa. Do you want to know how Grey's Anatomy changed the lives of the cast members? Find out all the interesting details in our new video. Katarina Scorsoni Life has changed a lot for Katarina Scorsoni, who portrays Amelia Shepard. Over the 10 years, Katarina did not only succeed as an actress, but also as a mom of two cute daughters, Eliza and Paloma. Her own fate looks like a gray storyline. Katarina Scorsoni's outlook on parenting completely changed when she found out her younger child, Paloma Michaela, now two, had been diagnosed with Down syndrome. This simple voice came to me where I was like, I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm supposed to keep her safe and I'm supposed to make her feel loved, she said. And suddenly my understanding of my job as a mother completely distilled and opened. A source of support that helped her change the way she looked at her daughter's diagnosis came from a phone call with Amy Brenneman, her former private practice co-star. She and her husband Brad have a beautiful daughter named Charlotte who has a chromosomal variation. And their experience helped Katarina to understand how to make her little Paloma happy. We believe that working in such an amazing and supportive show like Grey's Anatomy also helped the actress. The show didn't just become a part of the audience's lives, but also the lives of the actors. One of the most significant parts for me is not that we managed to make enough episodes to break records, but it's that culturally this show has become such a phenomenon and such an integral part of people's lives. Katarina shared her thoughts about Grey's Anatomy. Raising her children has become a huge source of happiness for the actress. Katarina revealed that Paloma sings a lot, and one day she went, sister, love sister. Her older daughter was thrilled. Eliza, the last thing she said before falling asleep last night was, I love Pippa so much. And then that was it, adds the actress. It's going to be wonderful to see them grow up together. Jesse Williams. Who would believe that before Grey's Anatomy, Jesse Williams was a history teacher? Ladies, I bet you wouldn't miss classes with Jesse. I have to give the audience a moment to get accustomed to your eyes. Okay. Back in 2010, Chandra Rhimes, the creator of Grey's, told Entertainment Weekly, we felt that having a shirtless Jackson Avery would be a benefit to society. He made his movie debut just a year before Grey's Anatomy. I wasn't an actor before this. I was a teacher, says Williams, who portrays Dr. Jackson Avery. Grace has been my headquarters, and I made a name for myself. Being here for 10 years, it's something I'm really grateful for. Throughout this significant part of his life, Jesse went from an unknown actor to a huge TV star. Gray's also brought him a great friend in the form of Meredith Gray. Could you just sign my torso? No, not again. We've discussed this. My butt. Okay. Surprisingly, Jesse Williams and Ellen Pompeo have taken vacations together with the kids. Jesse revealed that their friendship is really cool. Like, it's not a forced thing. Despite the fact that Jesse is extremely hot, he doesn't want to just be an attractive actor from Grey's Anatomy. To some people, I might be a celebrity because I'm physically attractive. We are programmed to believe that someone is attractive because they told you that blue eyes are hot. I'm not going to participate in that sh**, he says. Even now as he spends most of his time in Los Angeles filming Grey's Anatomy, Williams remains involved in social justice movements. When he is not playing Jackson Avery, Williams serves on the board of directors of The Advancement Project, a civil rights organization. He also works as one of the executive producers of Question Bridge, a transmedia art project that focused on the experience of black men in the US. And Grey's Anatomy definitely helps him to share his ideas. Justin Chambers can you believe that Justin Chambers, who portrays Alex Karev, is a total family man? It's easy to imagine now that his character has become a happily married doctor, but do you remember the badass intern from the early seasons of the show? When Grey's began, Justin already had five children. Oh, my tooth hurts. That's too sweet. <laughs> it's not surprising that he's so calm and supportive in real life, too. She just directed an episode, and she was hip. I mean, she really, <laughs> really nailed it. Justin revealed what Grey's Anatomy taught him. I've learned to be present because there's waves of enjoyment and waves of exhaustion, says Chambers. It's rewarding to have been able to grow as an actor. Justin plays one of the biggest roles in the show and is also raising children. It seems he is a real superhero. However, it's not as simple as that. The actor had to actually check himself into the UCLA Medical Center due to exhaustion because he had a sleeping disorder. In fact, there was a period of time where he was only getting around two hours of sleep a week. Is that even possible? Chandra Wilson 
When Shonda Rhimes, the showrunner, first conceived of the role of Dr. Miranda Bailey, she pictured a tiny, blonde woman. But Wilson's agent and manager encouraged ABC to let her audition for the part. Honestly, the reason we were so reticent about talking to her after she auditioned in LA was because she was so perfect, Rhimes said during the same convention. We thought if we spoke to her, we would all convey, oh my god, please, we want you, as opposed to letting things happen the way they're supposed to. Chandra is very protective about her personal life, but her role in the biggest TV show is bound to place you in the spotlight. But this is the cost of popularity, isn't it? Wilson can relate to Bailey's struggles with accepting her appearance, so the role is important for her. One of the things that I had to put away a long time ago is whether I was going to be right, because if I had spent time looking in the mirror, spent time standing on the scale, I never would have done anything," Wilson said. So I had to allow myself to say right here, in this skin, is what I am, and this is what I'm going to present. Chandra Wilson, like her co-stars, is very proud to be a part of this project. I love being a part of this history, she says, I truly enjoy Bailey's journey. And the reason I do it is because I like to bring joy to you guys, right? Ellen Pompeo The biggest star of the show also has something to say about her journey. So much has happened here, says Pompeo. I've had three children. I've gotten married. It's a huge chunk of my life. I've learned so much. It's just been an amazing evolution. Ellen Pompeo now is one of the most powerful members of Grey's, but it wasn't always that way. The first 10 years, we had serious culture issues, very bad behavior, really toxic work environment. The actress recalls in a new interview with Variety, but once I started having kids, it became no longer about me. I need to provide for my family. Ellen says that the culture on the gray set improved dramatically after season 10, in the wake of some big shifts in front of the camera, behind the camera. My mission became, this can't be fantastic to the public and a disaster behind the scenes. Series creator Chandra Rhimes and I decided to rewrite the ending of this story. That's what kept me from leaving. When Patrick Dempsey left the show in season 11, the studio and network didn't think that the show could go on without the male lead. Derek is dead. By the way, if you want to find out why your favorite characters left Grey's Anatomy, click the card above. So she had a mission to prove that it could. And now, Ellen Pompeo has recently been crowned as one of TV's highest paid actresses. Based on her latest negotiations, Pompeo will be earning more than $20 million a year. How did she achieve this? Of course, it was impossible without Chandra Rhimes' help, but Ellen learned her lesson. Ask for what you think you're worth. Rather than worry about being perceived as greedy, women must assess what they believe they're worth to be and ask for it. No one will give it to you if you don't ask for it. Sandra O. Oh. Christina Yang was one of the fan favorite characters on the show. The departure of Sandra O oh totally upset many fans, but this decision led her to Killing Eve. The show made Sandra O oh the first Asian to win a Golden Globe for Best Actress, but fans are still wondering whether she'll ever come back to Grey's. I don't want to disappoint you, but the answer is no. I'm just going to put that down there because it's been four years since then and I've really got to try and create much more of that separation," she revealed, but the show was a significant part of her life. Even though I could just talk on and on and on about that show and what I feel like I learned from it and continue learning from it, it was so special, lightning in a bottle that's lasted for over a decade. Sarah Drew Sarah Drew's departure was painful both for fans and Sarah herself. Drew says she was told Grey's had too many characters and that the show needed to downsize, so the main cast all had time to have their stories told. However, on the day of her firing, Sarah was shadowing Kevin McKidd, who was directing an episode that day. She ultimately decided to keep shadowing McKidd so she could learn more about directing. This changed her life incredibly, because the actress decided to take a shot at directing, and Chandra Rhimes helped her out. And now she's received an Emmy nomination for The B-Team, a Grey's Anatomy short-form series she directed. My confidence had gotten a bit shaken in the wake of being let go, she said, and the nomination after the fact made me go, I don't need to be worried about anything or have my confidence shaken. But she confessed that watching the new season of Grey's might be extremely painful. There is something about watching your family go on without you that's a bit painful. I'm not sure I need to put myself through that. Write in the comments below who your favorite character is. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome! And do not forget to subscribe to our new channel, Awesome Movies, where we discuss everything about your favorite films, including Easter eggs and spicy details no one ever notices.